Well, we will try once again. I think I'll try the Paladin one more time. Uh, if you want to see some of the other characters, let me know. Um, maybe we don't go with um, Prayer of Life. The healing effect on it. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's good, but it's kind of killing me in the early game. Prayer of, si well, but, uh, Prayer of Silence is real good, though. Uh... Um, fear... Uh, fear's not that great. Non-combatant is just weird. That's if you want to try to go through a level without killing anybody, you get... What? You get double experience for not killing them, but none for killing them. Eh, it's weird. It's a little weird. Okay, um, well I guess with non-combatant the idea is you consecrate whatever your starting weapon is, and then you, uh, and then you just win. Um, I'm trying to decide. Do I want to spell... Uh, the spells actually. Well, it's good for the late game, but that's not a, that's not really a problem I'm having. I'll try this one more time. Uh, the late game, there's a lot of real nasty spells that the boss and even the enemies near the boss will throw on you. But yeah, this is a hard game um, when you're when you're playing on the hardest difficulty. But difficulty is what makes games fun. There should be a challenge. It's when we are faced with challenge that we can challenge, that we can grow as people. Hmm, how do I want to play this? This seems like a good idea. I will heal. I'm gonna run. So you can't just throw yourself in. You gotta think about when to use abilities. You know, in in, in a sense, this game is just resource management. Knowing when to attack. You know, it's turn-based. It's like a turn-based game, and you're having to decide what you want to do with your turn. Um, I think that extra damage. I was missing it in my last playthrough when I tried to go with a dagger. Especially since there's no way I'm doing any stealth attacks. My character's too slow for that. Just gonna check every nook and cranny. Again, because it's procedurally generated, so there can be things in all manner of places. Ants are kind of annoying. Ah, I think I can lure them into the grass. Yeah, I have a defense bonus and he has a buff. Okay. They're both precision. More health? I will take it. Yeah, precision is definitely important. And maybe I need to put more into that so that my actual fighting ability is still good. Because you can't win with just defense. Um, that's what I learned, I think, in the last run, is because eventually you run out of tricks. And the problem with the heal spell is that it's a, it's a healing debuff, so it's it's really an anti-attrition. It's not really made to be used mid-combat. Just like attack nice. actually even need that little healing orb. Okay, this is going pretty good so far, but we haven't gotten to the hard bits yet. Crossbow man, those are the real problem. Okay, that's all of them, so we can just find the loot. When, it, when you find all of them, I wish it would just reveal the loot to save time, you know? Because there's not really a reason why it should be 
hidden, unless it's a secret. This game doesn't really have secrets in that sense. I think that's basically everything at the top right. Let me check that out real quick. Quick. And that's the exit. In we go. The best item to get is this item that gives you plus 75% experience. Uh, it's a ring. Um, and yeah, that. If you can get that, that will make it. Runs can get a little crazy, and it's just fun because you can get all of these abilities that normally you wouldn't have been able to get because you did, just didn't have that many levels. Alright, let's see here. Righteous Fury, killing an enemy will guarantee your next attack will be a critical hit. Well, since damage is this low, critical hits aren't that big of a deal. I'll take Purity. Um, okay. I got the money. More of the money. Okay, hopefully this time I don't accidentally attack a tradesman, causing me to not be able to get necessary items. Uh, this is better than what I have in every way, so I will get it. Yeah, those white numbers are the reflect, uh, reflect damage that I've been doing. Uh, I'll take the magic resist. I'm gonna heal. Because, um, healing right away will make it so that it will start recharging again faster. Whereas if I save it for a long amount of time, it might not be good. Let's see, this is more damage and more speed. I'll take it... Spells aren't really what I'm into at the moment. Oh, hello, Mr. Archers. Ooh, sneak, sneak, sneak attack. I need face. Potion of Reflection actually can be quite good. That reflects magic spells at whoever cast it on you. Which, uh, yeah, that can be pretty cool. I'm just gonna use this. It's only 60% chance to poison strike. Yeah, it's not that great. It's not a good item. Because first you have to land the hit, and then there's a 60% chance roll that you will get the uh, poison inflicted. And then once it's inflicted, all you get is like three damage over a period of three turns. You know, it's not, it's not that great. But not all of the items have to be great. What is this? Wind running. Oh, that's right. Uh, it It's cool, but it's not what I want. Um, if I move in one direction, I start flying. It's actually an easy way to accidentally kill yourself. Um, and I don't really, uh, I don't really need it. And, you, and wind running, it gives you like a speed bonus. Uh, but speed's not how I'm going to be doing things. I need money. Yeah, I'm going to want that. This is better than what I have in every way, so I'll take it. And this is more faith, so I'll take it. And I want this. Um, this is better than my Potion of Rage. Um, is that? Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, I'm just going to use this. Maybe I'll get some value out of it against whoever I'm fighting here. Sure, I'll take that. Guess not. Duck in here. Uh, it's gonna be hard to catch him. Yeah. Actually, gonna heal. More speed. Two more speed. Uh, no, I really need the damage. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hurting for damage here. Uh, the general idea is that you're supposed to... No, it doesn't give me more damage. If it gave me a significant damage boost, I might go for it. Uh, 
Um, the general idea is once I get Wrath of God... Oh dear. Nine defense? You know what? Just run away from me, please. Alright, got that person. Come back here. This was good to try to get goodies. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Look at this mess. Um... Level six, and I'm level. What level am I? Level four. So if I get Holy Light now, my next two I can get Wrath of God. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna make you run away because I don't like. And yours is dead. Okay. Love it, but I gotta do it. Ah, blinded. Eat that. Uh, I'm gonna make you fearful. Ooh, nice. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to, um... I'm gonna try to make you afraid first. No, there's no way around it. I'm gonna have to heal. But only when it's like one guy, because usually the idea is you don't blind all of them. Some of them get blinded, and then you can attack the guys who weren't blinded, and they're the actual threat. So not everybody's attacking you all at once. Hey, get back here. Get back here, I'll beat you up. speed on yourself and then you run away. And... Yeah, I think it, really they'll cast heal on it. Friends, I think, is their main gimmick. No, that's even less damage. I don't like that. Okay. What I really want is um, Bless Weapon. That's really good on... Uh, this character. Oh, we're not going to. Nine defense. Negative five speed. Let me wait for that to cool off. There we go. Now come at me, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh... Alright, health. Very good. That's all of them. So then I didn't have to use my heal. I mean, I don't use Intellect. Eventually I'll use Intellect for Wrath of God, um, but I aren't, that's two levels from now, so I need to just uh, focus. Once I get Wrath of God, that, that's when the true game begins. Because Wrath of God will damage a whole bunch of enemies, and like kill a bunch of people, and then when they're killed, that will charge up my heal. And that's when things get fun. Alright, I guess that's everything. Viper's Nest. You know how to treat snakes. I don't use it on you. Uh, I'm gonna make you afraid. We resisted it. What do you think of that? It's gonna wear off in a little bit. Okay. Now we had to get Righteous Fury, um, which is going to up our damage. It's effectively going to up our damage. I'm gonna heal. That seems like a good idea. These things have really high defense with Righteous Fury. It just shattered due to time. It was uh, cast as a mirror. Yeah, a lot of the enemies have the same uh, abilities that you can pick up. Ooh, yes. Yes, thank you. I will take that. Because um, what this does is it, you do a automatic you do an automatic hit that um, does some cool effect. And when you're carrying a blunt weapon, the cool effect is they get stunned. 
And that's a cool effect. Ooh, dispel magic. Yes, please. Cast this on myself. I would like you to be afraid. I'm gonna cast this on you. I'm gonna stun you. Oh, I want that, but uh, there's really no way I can actually do it myself. I want you to be afraid of me. Oh dear. Okay, that I don't want. Things aren't hurting me, they're just um, uh, reducing my attack. Okay, I think I can take one of you guys on. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do that first though. Sir, can you not please? Thank you. Oof, this is not good. I have to run away from here. Um, Am I going to have to use my potion of invincibility? I really don't want to. Those little uh, purple genies are... Uh, no joke. The orange ones are even worse. Ooh! Yep. Yeah, and the reason he was able to attack me um, is because his speed was higher than mine. And so eventually, he would um, hit me. Alright, well, let's try with a different character, just for fun, to show you some of the different ones. The Alchemist. Sure, let's, let's try the Alchemist. Uh, gun build against this is actually... I don't love it. Uh, so let's do some of the, the crafting things. Um, start with Renly, Enchanted Lab Coat. Powder Bomb, or plus two... Uh, yeah, I'll take Gun Builds, I think. So extra gold and more every time you travel. No. Two scrolls of mapping, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the, this is what I want. So the alchemist is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not gonna go for a gun build just because against this very specific boss, it's not that great. So if one thing you generate is uh, on kills, you can get this, which creates a random item, and you can combine items. So if I were to combine these two, it would, it would turn these two tier one things into some sort of tier two, and the chance of success is 100. So let's do it. It's created an offering. Okay. And then that'll generate just sort of slowly. Now eventually, now it becomes harder for the thing to succeed the more you try, or the, the higher the tiers are. But you can get some really high items and start crafting really good items. And then one, if you can create, if you can craft the highest items together, you can create an item which will um, do something very special. You basically create the elixir of life. Um, I mean, it's not the elixir of life, but the idea is as an alchemist, you're like, ooh, I'm wanting to uh, combine things and do science, and you're slowly doing it, and yeah. Alright, so that is recharged, that we can create a new item. Let's combine some stuff. Let's try this and this. Alright, let's see what that makes. Mana potion, okay. Sure, I turned some useless uh, stuff. That's, that was uh, scrap, that uh, item that I had. And when you fail, you create scrap or you create strange liquid, uh, depending on if it's a dry item or a wet item that you're combining. Oh, and you will probably also know that I have another slot for items, because the whole point of this character is getting potions and whatnot and combining them in cool ways, and so you have more room to do that. Oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna knock this guy down. Oh, and he's got friends. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to use a healing potion. But you feel less bad about using good items in this game, because... Oh, good grief. Uh, you create items, so... It's absolutely fine for you to use items. And trash items, like the one I just picked up, um, generally don't worry about as much. Ooh, a scroll of summoning. Nice. Uh, you can actually do something with them, so... You don't feel bad about getting them. Alright, come back here, you. I hate this. Okay, what do we want to get? Tinkerer is actually very good. Randomly upgrades one piece of equipment whenever you move to a new area. 
up to a limit. Um, that's good. Uh, I think I want to get... I want to get Invigorate, do I? Gives you health every time you use an item. No, that's not very good. Construct is what allows you to randomly create higher tier items. Um, yeah, and the thing... Oh, yeah, 30% and can sometimes produce two items. Yeah, that's the, that's the item I'm getting. Tinker could be good, since this is a long level. But, I mean, we're wanting to we probably want to get a better item, and then... Like, it's not going to help us right now. Switch allows you to randomly create higher tier items. Yeah, that's really good. And it's better to get that early. We'll grab Intellect. It's going to make us hard in fights for a while, but we'll just have to be good at the game. And hopefully pick up some magic spells that use Intellect. That would be nice. Like, Fireball would be really good on him because he uh, has high Intellect. Or something like Teleport Away. Really, I'm wanting to combine the things into the super items. That's what I want. And when you when you go to the store, you're basically like, any item you have, I will take it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to drink this health potion. I don't love it. How would you come to me, please? Well, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna combine these two. So I make healing potion. Hell yes. Eventually, I'll start rolling and creating two copies of items uh, with the perk that I picked up. I'm running low on materials, uh, but that's fine. We do that sometimes when we play the Alchemist. And this um, this level is pretty rough in the early game. And again, the crossbowmen are a real problem. Now, if I was playing the wizard or the ranger, crossbowmen would be no problem. Or the thief, uh, the crossbowmen would be a problem. Both of these, let's uh, combine them into something. Ah, uh, we made scrap. Oh well. That, you know, it was a 72% chance, so you're gonna miss sometimes. I think I need to get better equipment. Ooh, now that's, a, that's something I can use. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, let's combine shift three, shift four. Let's make something good. Sleep powder is definitely better than blind than uh, blinding powder. Still only made one of them though. So that's, that's unfortunate. I get them all. So these wings will help me either escape or hunt down some of those crossbow men if they continue to be a problem. Yeah, I have basically no equipment. I need, um, like, armor and stuff. <laughs> uh, but we'll get it. Uh, get myself a super speed. Wow. Alchemist can be hard, and this this campaign uh, is real tough early. But we will get through it. Let me see if I can try that again. Um, one combine randomly enchanted lad powder bomb. This might be better. Give me a little more defense early. So let's try this. Just slightly change my setup. I have all these setups that are for late game, and I forget how punishing the early game can be. Oops, no, 
that's not what I want. Um, let's combine these two. Offering, I'll take it. Disconcerting. Hopefully I will find literally any equipment this time, and I will be able to uh, not have my character be running around naked, which is basically what my build was in that last run. But it's fine, you know, sometimes you have to deal with what the game gives you. It gives you certain things. It gave me a lot of items, and I was, or a lot of uh, consumables, and I had to use them early. Now, normally... Alchemist players love getting consumables, so I can't really complain about that. Nor should you complain just generally about things. It's not really that useful, unless the complaints can uh, drive you to change your action to be better. Okay, no archers so far, so no problem. More consumables. Alright, yeah, like this. Like that. Hey, that's a, that's a thing I can use. Ooh, okay. Uh, not as good as my lab coat. That's right. I'm given a... What? How is... Yeah, this is a randomly enchanted one. What did I get? Plus one defense, plus two health. Seems good. Oh, no. Come at me. Uh, the, arch, the problem is the archers are smart. They'll, um... They won't. Uh, they'll kite you. There's so many archers! Uh, I want the attack. Okay, let's combine some stuff. Maybe I can make something cool. Sleeping powder! Um, yeah, that's cool. Oh. That's why you gotta be careful when you're waiting. Sometimes people sneak in. Grab and feeble. Just because I can use it. Oh my goodness. So many crossbowmen. So many crossbows. Uh, let's try the invisible stuff. Full healing potion. I like that. Oh, because of the build I'm going for, I actually don't want to get the thing that upgrades randomly. Okay, I'm gonna have to drink this. So I think if I put that on you, you become less accurate. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not good. Um. Uh. I'm gonna have to use this black powder bomb. Ugh, I hate to do that. I'm gonna give myself more precision. Crossbowmen, they're real tough. You gotta be, uh... Sometimes you have to just not deal with them. Um, and, uh, just move on through the level. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Okay, that's a good way to get a crossbowman. There's this crossbowman as well. Ah, they're so good at kiting! An offering. I can work with that. <sighs> Sometimes you need to just move on from an area when the enemies are not the kind that you're able to take on at the moment. You know, you just have to try to find good items. I uh, still discovered me with the stealth bonus. That will happen. More items, thank you. Uh, yeah, let me 
kite you through this brush. They're pretty good about some, you know, they'll avoid going into the brush. Oh, I got him nice. Okay, this is going all right. Now, this opening level is pretty rough, but I like that a really hard one is at the beginning instead of towards the end. Um, yeah, let's combine some of this. Let's make something cool. Yeah, scrap material. Yeah, I was combining a level four with a level one, so the chance of success there is pretty low, but... That's a crossbowman. Careful. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, let me get this down. Maybe I can craft a healing potion. Let's try both of these. Sleep powder. Okay, that's good. So heal. Rough, uh, but we're getting some equipment, so that's not too bad. I may have to just move on to the next zone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run. Let's see if I can kite them into the bushes. Yeah, that would have been good if I was standing in the right spot. Oof. Yeah, this is rough. Um, usually I do a flintlock build with the uh, alchemist, but it's a hard uh, it's a hard level, and it's hard to play on the hardest difficulty. But I only ever play on the hardest difficulty in this game um, because uh, you know defeat can be a thing that teacheth you something. Well, uh, Godspeed.